Namaste and a very warm welcome to Skin Doctor channel. I am Dr. Sujit Kumar, your dermatologist. Today I will be talking to you about a fungal infection which happens between our toes and this is called as Stenia pedis. Stenia pedis is a very common fungal infection. Most often people neglect this disease, they do not seek treatment at the right time and this can lead to a lot of complications and even death. So you have to be very careful about this disease. So please listen carefully, understand what this disease is and how we have got to treat it. What are the measures we have to take to prevent this disease? All this coming up now. So the Stenia pedis is a fungal infection which is caused by a fungus which belongs to the category called as dermatophytes and sometimes even yeast. So dermatophytes and yeast can cause Stenia pedis. The different kinds of dermatophytes which cause Stenia pedis are Trichophyton rubrum, Trichophyton interdigital, and Epidermophyton flocosum. These are the three kinds of fungus which can cause uh, three. These are the three kinds of dermatophytes which can cause Stenia pedis, and sometimes yeast like Candida too can cause Stenia pedis. People walking barefoot or using public change rooms, using common towels to clean their legs. Uh, people wearing very tight and occlusive footwear like the safety shoes, people having underlying immunodeficiency like uh, diabetes mellitus or any other diseases or if they are taking some steroid medications for some other disease, their immunity may go down, they are more prone to get the stenia pedis. So this can happen in one feet, both feet or between one or two toes or it can affect all the toes. So but the most common side is between the fourth and fifth toes. This appears like a whitish discoloration between the toes sometimes it can be loss of skin there erosion of the skin sometimes it can be watery discharge in between the toes this is a different presentations of this disease so we doctors we dermatologists diagnose this disease by various methods sometimes we have we may have to differentiate it with a bacterial infection which is called as erythrasma and we use an instrument called as a wood slap to differentiate between these two diseases and if it is erythrasma, it is a bacterial infection and it has to be treated with antibiotics. If it is tinea, if it is caused by a fungus, we have to treat it with uh, an antifungal medication. I'll be making a separate video about what erythrasma is and you can know the details about that in that video. So now we'll be focusing on tinea pedis and let's see what we should do to prevent this disease and what is the importance of taking timely treatment. As I told you, tinea pedis sometimes is a harmless disease. It may not cause any problems for you. And there are people who neglect the disease and live with it for years together. But this is very dangerous because sometimes this can be complicated by secondary infection with bacteria, very severe bacterial infection with gram-negative bacteria or Pseudomonas aeruginosa. These Pseudomonas infections are very dangerous and it can cause greenish discoloration of the skin. It can cause very serious infection. It can cause swelling of the limbs. It can cause cellulitis. Cellulitis is a very serious complication and it can even lead to something called a sepsis where the bacteria enters into your blood and it can cause septicemia, shock and death. So you have to be very careful when you have a disease like this, please meet your dermatologist, try to take treatment at the right time. How can we prevent this disease? We should always keep our legs clean and neat. So the, I, as I told you, this uh, tinea uh, pedis affects people who use uh, uh, who work with water, who work with their legs in water for a long time, who walk barefoot, who uses common bathrooms without using a footwear. So these are the complicated. So you have to be very careful about this. Always keep your feet dry. Use a hair dryer, not the hot one, a cold hair dryer to remove the moisture between the toes. If you are already affected with tinea pedis, you should meet a dermatologist and get yourself treated. While getting treated, you have to be very careful that you have to apply medications at the right time. Keep your legs dry. After each wash, wipe out the moisture with a cotton cloth. Never use a tissue paper because the fibers of the tissue paper may stick onto your skin and cause further complications or may worsen the condition. Another thing which you can use is called a pledget. These are called pledgets, cotton pledgets which dentists use a lot. You can get this from your dental store or you can ask your dentist to give you this uh, cotton pledgets. You can keep these cotton pledgets between the toes. As soon as you finish washing your legs and feet, you can use these pledgets in between the toes so that the toes are separated and the water is absorbed with this cotton. Never use loose cotton because as I told you the loose cotton fibers can stick between your fingers, it can stick on the skin and it can worsen the condition. So this is a compactly uh, rolled out cotton, these are called pledgets. Use, uh, use these pledgets to separate your fingers and also to dry your fingers. Don't use it for a long time. After some time, after the purpose is done, after the moisture is removed, you have to remove it and throw it away and next time use a new pledget. 
And another way of uh, separating your toes is by using toe separators so that is, uh, there is air circulation between the toes. A very common scenario is that people do take treatment and they use treatment for a very long time. They meet many dermatologists but still the tinea pedis doesn't go away. The main reason for this is because of the toes are very closely placed and there is no space between them for air circulation. So if your, if your toes are placed very close, Please use a toe separator at least for a few hours in a day when you're dressing, when you're watching TV. Please place these toe separators between so that air circulation is there. And once the air circulation is maintained, the tinea pedis heals very fast. Use medications at the right time, use it properly for the uh, required duration as prescribed by your dermatologist. Do not neglect tinea pedis because it can cause severe complications. As I told you, a very important complication of tinea pedis is secondary infection with a bacteria called as Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And this is a very, very dangerous complication. So please take care. If you have tinea pedis, please take treatment at the right time. Thank you for watching this video. And it's me, Dr. Sujit Kumar, your dermatologist. So until we meet again with a new topic, bye and take care.